In today's artificial intelligence class, we will see the object recognition from structural information that is from fourth unit perception. So, under today's class, we will see the deformable template, how this template used to, to detect the person and the geometry of bodies that is finding arms and legs. For this, we can use the cardboard person model and appearance model. After that, we will see the coherence appearance that is tracking people in a video. Okay. For this, we can use Tasso appearance model as well as the appearance model. In the last class, we have seen the object recognition by appearance and uh, in that we have seen the pedestrian detection system. So, the pedestrian detection system that will put a box around the pedestrians. Pedestrians means the people who are walking on the road. Okay. So, uh, a box will be identified the person who are walking on the road so that we can easily avoid the accidents. Now, we want to know what the people are doing on the road, right? So, for that, we need to know how uh, their arms, legs, body and head lie in the picture that is lies in the object so that we can easily identify what the people are doing in the image. Detecting individual body parts of a particular human being is very difficult by using this moving window method because uh, the body parts colors and texture are different and also they are very small in the images. Okay, for example, the forearms and sins are very small and they are 2 to 3 pixels wide in the image. Okay, in a particular image, a particular person's body part picking by using this moving window body, uh, moving window method is very difficult, right? Now, we need to infer the layout of human bodies, okay? Because by using the layout only, we can reveal what the person are doing on the roadside. Right? Here, uh, we are having the deformable template. Deformable template which are used to pick the configuration that is acceptable configuration, okay? For example, the elbow can bend Okay, so this is the elbow, elbow can bend and hand never joined to foot, right. So, we can design a template for a particular person. So, the diagram which gives the simplest deformable template model for a person, here uh, the parts are connected to each other like the lower arms and the upper arms are connected, okay. And the hand will be connected to the body and legs are connected and head will be connected like this. Okay. And some richer models also available. For example, the left and right upper arms have same color and texture. See, the left and right upper arms are same color and texture like the left and right legs. Okay. Both are same. But these richer models are very difficult to work with, okay. So, this diagram explains the deformable template for a bicycle. In object recognition from structural information, there are two subtopics. First one is geometry of bodies, uh, that is finding arms and legs of particular person in the image, right. And second one is coherent appearance, that means tracking people in a video, right. The first one is geometry of bodies that is finding arms and legs of particular person in an image. To find these arms and legs we can use this cardboard people model and this is the example cardboard people model. Here we can uh, see how the person's body will be looks like, right. Here uh, there are two arms and two legs and one head all will be connected to the person's body. And from this cardboard people model, we can also find the color and texture of person's clothing. Okay, how the person will wear their clothes. We can identify all those things by using cardboard people model. And apart from this, the position and orientation of the part, that is the pose of particular person also represented by this particular model, right? Cardboard people model. That means 
the legs will be independent to all other part and the hand will be independent to all other part the face will be independent to all other part that means the part will be moved with irrespective of other parts right so this model is called as cardboard people model so this cardboard person model will compare the cardboard person with the real image real image of a particular person okay that is it match between a set of image rectangles and cardboard person right how these rectangles will be similar between this person and the cardboard person right and it also computes the similarity in appearance between the body segments and the image segments and also the spatial relations between the image segments right and the cardboard person model will use the average color for hair head torso upper and lower arms and legs here the dynamic programming is very much helpful to match the particular person with the cardboard person model uh, match is nothing but the estimate of the configuration of body which is based on the appearance of model features like uh, hair head torso upper and lower arms and legs how these body parts is appeared in the image is identified by dynamic programming the next one is appearance model appearance model means how the person looks like in a image okay to identify this we can use this appearance model so for this first we have to estimate the configuration of particular person in a single image after that we have to estimate how the person appeared in that image that means first we have to identify a person after that how the person appeared in the image that should be estimated okay in a video uh, we have many frames of same person and this will reveal the appearance okay from the video frames we can understand how the person appeared the next one is coherent appearance that is tracking people in video tracking people in video is very important practical problem nowadays that is if we could report the location of the part of a particular person that is how the uh, body parts of a particular person looks like then we can build a very best surveillance system right so uh, by monitoring a particular person what he is actually doing that is called as surveillance system see the same thing is very much helpful to improve the game interface also in the video the appearance of person changes very slowly frame to frame okay so from the frame we can easily identify a particular person's appearance by using the appearance model okay the appearance model is used to detect the person in frame of a particular video right so then we can link these locations of a particular person's body part across time to time to make the track right there are several ways to uh, generate the good appearance model here the video is a large stack of pictures of particular person right each and every frame we can extract the appearance of person isn't it so this will work by detecting body segments on each frame so how the body segments appear uh, in each frame for a particular person okay for example um, the person may have parallel legs the person may have parallel legs so likewise we can detect the particular person in each frame right for this we can use the clustering technology the tasso appearance model starts with tasso because the tasso is big and the tasso detector may be reliable okay once we have tasso appearance model that is the upper leg segment should appear near to the tasso and so on 
so this may be the tarso part this is leg part this is upper leg and lower leg left leg and right leg okay the hand and upper arm and lower arm okay upper and lower so this is the head okay inside the head we are having eyes and mouth nose part right okay sometimes the segment detector generate false positives okay this is because uh, this can be unreliable if people appear against near the fixed background okay if the people stand behind the fixed background then this system can generate more false positives so the alternative for this particular problem is estimate the appearance of many of the frames in the video repeatedly re-estimating the configuration and appearance okay so if the person standing on the fixed background then the system can generate more false positive so how to overcome this by re-estimating the configuration and appearance repeatedly then we can find the a person what he is actually doing so far we have seen the object recognition from structural information from fourth unit perception uh, under this we have seen the deformable template and the two categories first one is geometry of bodies finding arms and legs of particular person in an image and then we have seen the coherent appearance that is tracking people in a video for this we can use uh, the cardboard people model appearance model and torso appearance model and for more information please go through a textbook and in the next class we will see another important topic from fourth unit thank you